The day has finally arrived for the festival. But first, the, the general arrest? For what? I've seen him before. He's that villain who's always posting those foolish videos online. Oh no! That's awful. That's awful. Someone else was here before. I've got the set of someone from our school. And then they could come <laughs> soaring through the air. <laughs> Can't we all just wrap this up nicely? <laughs> it just seems like a waste for someone like Jenel to end up in jail. I feel like because of the nature of his crimes and because you sort of know what's underneath it and it's not malice and it's not an inability to reflect or reform or anything like that. And because he's talented and was sort of dealt a rough hand, I feel like a more satisfying resolution would be to put him in a position where he actually can do good, which is actually what he wants, I think, right? Like he wants to be a hero, right? And that's part of both the similarities he has with Deku and also the tragedy of the story is that he just couldn't. And weirdly, he ends up becoming an avatar for a big theme in a lot of shows, for example, Attack on Titan, and just a, a really tough question in life which is like what are you supposed to do when you're dealt a really bad hand like he's just not that talented or he wasn't that talented initially and a great insight that was pointed out to me is that he's also not a great villain so he's sort of stuck in this weird ambiguity but jail seems like a terrible outcome it's like what you know what, what good does that do jail is another one of those things where it's like it's probably the best decision you could make if you don't have time or the resources to look at each case specifically it's like the best blanket action you can take you know what i mean the best broad action you can take because the aim is to reduce the extremes which would be like having people who really really want to do terrible things just out there and also having people who want to do terrible things be emboldened by the fact that other people who have done terrible things receive no punishment for that. But taking the time and looking at each case, as difficult as it is to actually know the people's intentions in real life, I think it comes down to three things. It comes down to like, will the person be likely to continue doing what they're doing? What precedent does that decision make for people who do similar crimes? And then also I think a, a deep desire we have to sort of protect the status quo in our minds. Like, see bad people get punished. And then there's the severity of the crimes and like whether or not they can make amends for it. And if they'd be better serving the world in jail or out of jail. And I think weighing all of those things, general, it's not really a great candidate for jail, assuming I have the general gist of his actions. My greatest sin was to kidnap and brainwash the innocent girl you see before you. He's doing this to protect her. I've lost my will to fight and my dreams. The only thing left of me is the core of my being. A heart oh, that's that all, can huh? feel that beats for someone else. I know you're doing this for my sake, but you can't. Just pardon both of them. <laughs> I don't know, it's a, it's a sweet gesture, but... You're injured too. Did you find this man? These are like the, the most extra pairing of teachers. Everything's fine now. Right. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Hound Dog's out for blood right now. Some wannabe streaming villains turned himself <laughs> Wannabe streaming villain. I know. Doesn't make sense. Just kick him out. We got bigger things to worry about. Izuku Midoriya. I too once trained to be a hero. I'm in no position to say this, but I hope through your actions you reach those you are hoping to reach. I wish you a bright future. Man, there's something so so painful but so beautiful about that at the same time. Deku, in just so many ways, is everything Gentle could have ever wanted and never was. And not only that, but Deku has youth. I mean, Gentle's not really old, although he looks like my grandfather. But it's just insanely difficult when there's something you feel like you, you're staking your identity on. Like, it's either I'm this or I'm worthless. And you just can't find success at it. And other people seem to do so effortlessly. But one thought that's very reassuring to me, and I think also perhaps a, a partial answer to the question I asked before about like, what do you do with just an apparent lack of talent or, or negative circumstances, is that you sort of zoom out and realize that the thing you're focusing on is not actually the thing you want necessarily. I mean, I can't tell you how many times in my life I thought a thing was e essential. Like, it, if I didn't get this, it would just be the end. Like, I would die. But then didn't get it, and not only didn't die, but later was grateful it didn't go down that way because I found other better things, you know? A lot of, I think, problems in life come down to a limited focal point, limited vision, to being too zoomed in. It's just so much easier to give emotional impact and emotional weight internally to things that are right in front of us and to undervalue or underestimate the value of the things we haven't come across yet. You can also find an example of this in like attraction, right? Like we get obsessed with one person and it can get to a point where it feels like that is literally the only person, but other people come along. And then it's like, why was I so obsessed with that, that one person? You know what I mean? General can do great things in his way. And if he really connects to things that are relevant to who he is, it will feel great and he'll get what he needs from it no matter what it looks like. What I feel is probably at the root for Jenel is not even necessarily being liked. I feel like it's self-respect. I mean, he really set himself up for failure here by becoming a villain, which is counter to his natural inclinations. In order to do what? Hope maybe to get views on YapTube, which translates to what exactly? I don't know. Assuming that you'd even get them. I mean, there are some, some inner qualities I think are great that come out of this, like 
the hard work, the resilience. But is it what he's looking for? I don't think so. I actually think the the gesture with La Brava goes a lot farther in that way because actually that was more of heroic nature. It was self-sacrificial. It was out of a pure desire to help rather than a desire to be seen as someone who helps. You know what I mean? There's something more pure about it. Class A's performance starts at 10, correct? Better get there. It's a little over half an hour away. We got a catwalk to dance on. Gentle criminal. He was a difficult opponent. Because he's not really an opponent is a thing, you know what I mean? It wasn't just his strength. It's because I could have turned out just like him. That's true, yeah. In the end, what he cared about most was protecting the person he loved. As for me... Victoria! There you are! I care about the one I most love. Sorry I'm so late! Aoyama. <laughs> and his cheese. What a clumsy boy you are. Here, get changed. Why does this feel so romantic? <laughs> you plan to perform covered in dirt? Everyone will be worried about you instead of the show. I love that this school-wide commitment to this festival. Respect. Kind of exciting to see. <laughs> Quirk. Jaw. Deku is still going to dance, isn't he? Don't you worry. Oh, you betcha. He's gonna get down. On the catwalk. <laughs> I saw his look. <laughs> this is it. It's really happening. All this preparation and hard work. Show us what you've got first here. No pressure. What a great day for Eric, for real. They really came through. It's a small thing, but it's also not a small thing. It's I want to see your smile. Uh, have fun at the cultural festival. I think. <laughs> this is an entertainment for them. They want to criticize, or even better, see our class. So we just can't turn it off, can he? A song and dance performance, huh? Even if they don't completely Tough crowd. blow it. Tough crowd. <laughs> They're really just showing off, aren't they? That's why it's important to do this for themselves. Just have a good time. Start, damn it! Let's show <laughs> what we've got. I love that Bakugo starts it. Ready. Our sound is gonna about kill to get you! murdered, yeah, by drums and music. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're literally getting their faces blasted off right now. Oh, look at there. Look, 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 look at them go. So, guys, sweat a little bit. You can feel it. Yes, they put Eden to work. That was well chosen. Giving him the hand, the hand movements. <laughs> hey, there you go. So just, like a human just keep watching. I'm sure he'll show up again. It's good that he got to dance on stage a little bit at least. <laughs> nice touch with the hand. Hey, look at Banana getting some spotlight. Nice. Joe guy has been won over. I'm not going to become a musician. I feel like she wants to become a musician. Helping out others and making them happy. It just seems so cool. You taught me music and I didn't want to waste that either. Okay, so I was wrong. This is what she wants to do. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Aw, it's so sweet. You have to pay attention to how things make you feel. Maybe you can help others with your sound. It's true. In that sense, musicians and heroes are the same. These parents, though, they're amazing. Some great advice. Whoa, whoa, this just crossed a weird line. <laughs> Putting other people's lives in danger now. What? Is it the, the darkness or inner demons being shed? Sir! Did that just happen? Aww. She's smiling! So is Bakugo, wow. It's amazing how touching they make just a, a girl smiling. Didn't expect that. Well, that was pretty perfect. Everything I wanted and more. Oh my god, that moment with Aerie smiling. And Miru crying. It's not trivial, like, it's... Sort of a funny thing, like the the whole festival arc, I think could be interpreted as just filler and slice of life, right? It doesn't have the threat or, you know, the life and death threat that a lot of other things have. But I think the stakes are very much there. This is a triumph after major sacrifice. It's like Deku and Mirio and, you know, many others, of course, seeing their, their vision to the end and also in their way honoring the sacrifice of, of Nidai. It's still a lot. There's a lot in there. It really feels like taking that concept of, of light winning out over darkness and just refining it to like a, a very, very powerful and compact moment with this Musical performance and Ari shedding her her demons. It seemed like literally, maybe at least visually, and Mirio experiencing that. It's it's a beautiful thing. This show knows how to maximize those moments. You know what I mean? It's like they give that extra ten percent or extra 
hundred percent or whatever, and take what in someone else's hands or in another show's hands would be sort of a simple thing and make it so extremely potent and powerful. It's kind of remarkable. I don't even know if I can fully understand it. And life goes on, right? It's not like they've they've won a final victory over evil. In fact, I'm partly on edge waiting for the you know the other shoe to drop. But it sort of doesn't matter because in this moment, like in this moment, this is a victory. This is like pure goodness. Imagine if Gentle had interrupted this, man, that would have been a real tragedy. What is this dramatic music? What is happening? Oh, it's oh, it's just Lord of the Rings: Return of the I am known Harry as Potter. Romeo, the ghost of Azkaban, and a Parisian count. <laughs> you will return Juliet to me. Hell yeah, this is living up to all my expectations. You must have heard about your father from your mentor Gandalf. <laughs> Can I just watch this whole thing? Can I just get this as a movie? I am your true father. Join me. There you go. They did throw in Star Wars at the end, after all. I thought it was amazing. I, know, I just couldn't take it. Seriously. I loved it. I saw one scene and I'm in love with it. Things weren't that grisly, so the festival's still going on. But this could have been real bad. <laughs> Damn, his voice actor deserves something, some kind of award. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the only way you can answer my dog. <laughs> yes, sir. Smile now, or else. Hound dog, I really appreciate you. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him, hound dog. Let him know. You can't turn it off. <laughs> yes, the power. <laughs> started to get cold and I saw birds and there was this a spinning exactly line and a wanted. bunch of people exactly said, wow, what we wanted. Wow, too. It was so fun. I get it. I get it. Mary oh, doesn't even realize. such a good time, Mary. Yeah. Uh, you should be working. <laughs> good to see Minetta dedicated to something other than, you know, perversion. We heard about what you were trying to do when you started planning this. You totally What's pulled this guy's it off. Eyes. Stop screwing around and finish cleaning up the eyes. Yeah, sure. This is what Manetta needs, man. He Manetta seems pretty on edge. Gotta hurry so I can score good seats. I was, I, about to, I was about to say, I was about to say this is a turning point for his character. How foolish I am. It's all about the beauty contest. I was about to say he found something to focus on that makes him feel good. He should follow that instinct. No, it's just, it's about the beauty contest. But let's do it. <laughs> and beauty. Just beat, beat eyelashes, please. For the love of God. It's the support course third oh year God. and beauty pageant queen herself. Something bizarre about this. <laughs> I'm totally lost. The yeah, goal of so, beauty is to leave your audience dazzled. <laughs> oh man, this third year. Gotta admit, she's good. Heard your plaything went well. Nice going, man. You too, bro. Of this growing bromance. Sure, nobody's gonna out dazzle that girl, but Nezirai has her own strengths. Yeah, she got like Sailor Moonbeams and stuff. Togeta and Airy. Everyone looks so surprised. Whoa, did you see that guy? That is a character design. Is that my friend Chicken Man? It is. He he returns. Seeing her up there, that's really something else. It's gonna be inspiring oh, for him. Was like, like a social or something. anxiety. Yeah, she's got this. She just took this, this contest. So pretty. Suck it, eyelashes. Please vote for one of these eight contestants. It's hard Results to hard to beat Vaporeon though. <laughs> How do you beat Vaporeon in a beauty contest? It's just so good to. She's been having a good time. Well, the funhouse happened after all, it seems. I know some bad stuff's coming, but I love that they're having this moment. Yeah, she won. It was also her last chance, right? It was her senior year. I loved it. I want more! Mm. More! <laughs> Got a surprise for ya. A candy, candy apple. apple! I just ate one of those yesterday. It's the best thing ever! Taste like goodness <laughs> and victory. I'll make them again. So you have something to look forward to. I will. Got a lot to look forward to. Wow. What an episode. There's so much to unpack. Uh, it's just... It, it exceeded my expectations in so many ways. I mean, I had a sense of the fact that it was significant. I didn't feel like it was filler at all, but it really earned it. Like, this arc really really delivered on what I feel are some of the, the best things about My Hero Academia. Just the power of a group of people as individuals showing up with hearts that just want to do good despite flaws that then intersect with each other and make themselves greater than the, the sum of what they ever could be as individuals, as great as they are as people. And that being like this transformative force, this was a hero story. Even without Gentle, it would have been a hero story. One of the things that I think makes the show so intriguing is it really, really goes into heroism from like every angle. There's sort of a sleight of hand here because they all have powers, right? But while that definitely is an aspect of heroes in media, there's also this growing thing that is, is just not a coincidence. 
is. Like, this is this has got to be deliberate, right? That actually it's not their quirks that makes them heroes. And here we had an arc that I feel is extremely heroic and extremely on theme with heroism, despite there not being a villain. Or I should say, without there really needing to be a villain, we didn't really need need gentle to be there for the festival to have been a heroic thing especially with Ari in the mix you know what i mean and the payoff to that you know the resolution that no actually like you believe in goodness and it, it comes through you know it works you do your best and good things happen even if they just happen in these small moments they happen and they're they're beautiful it's just great and i loved it and if that wasn't enough you get what seems like a resolution to, to gentle's arc you know he actually choosing the the better elements of himself like you know it's really not hard for me to imagine especially, you know, speaking of Yaptube, him not having been able to reverse course like that. It's tough. Like you go, you go far enough down a road. Speaking of loss aversion, turning back means admitting to yourself all the terrible things you've done. And you already are not in a great place to begin with. So that can be too difficult of a thing to face. And you can just keep doubling down and doubling down and doubling down until you've thrown away everything that you actually have a value. And he managed to save himself, I think, with Deku's help by sort of reflecting that this is not, this is not the path. I have something of better value, which is my relationship. I can actually step down and be a good person and root for goodness through Deku. So that's satisfying. And then you also get that moment of Jiro and her parents, which I think is a, is a beautiful thing too. Also on theme with like the question of what is what is heroism and maybe the fact that you don't necessarily need quirks to be a hero. I feel like I may have had the wrong reading of her and I still might not be getting it. I'm not actually sure what she wants to do more. At first it felt to me like she wanted to do music but was afraid of it. But what she said seems to have contradicted that somewhat, although it's still possible. But either way, I think the important takeaway is what her parents said about how you listen to yourself and you also focus on maybe something higher, which in, in Jiro's case is doing good. And she has a, uh, a lot of ways she can do that. Like thinking very broadly, it's a good problem for her to have this great path or this great path, right? And so there's very little reason for her to doubt herself, much like, you know, I don't think the audience or anyone in the show really ever doubted her. Only she would doubt herself. And this is an ending so scene. Yes. I can't believe it. Right, right. What's your job? La Brava. Wouldn't you rather use <laughs> this talent for the good of the world? That's what I'm saying. And speaking of talents, I mean, she, she's right there with him. It was always in service of my dream, even if I erred when choosing my path. The reflection it's a good it thing good. to turn yourself in today. Yeah, put him to work. Put him to work. Some people will tell you that there are no do-overs in life, but that's for those who don't want to change. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Just repent, reflect, and do better. That's a way, way more productive solution. This is a... Hey, you want some tea? So many great cops in the show. Let's add Gorilla Cop to greatness that is Cat Cop and Dog Detective. Well, that's a huge relief. Yeah, it would be a waste. Not to say that he shouldn't be punished at all, but there's other kinds of punishment, right? He doesn't have to, like, be locked away doing nothing. Put him to work. Like, uh, what's that guy? Catch me if you can. The world would get nothing from his punishment except for, like, I don't know, a sense of smugness about one's own worldview. Like, uh, see, that's what happens. You know, that kind of thing. He's not a bad guy. Let him out in the world again. Just keep an eye on him. And the Brava too. You know, I don't know. Don't you want to give people a chance for redemption? Within reason. Again, it's really, really tough in, in real life because we don't really know other people's true intentions with any degree of certainty. It's hard to judge that. And so there's always risks involved. And the risks of that are, are often not borne by the people that you're trying to re rehabilitate. But with Jenel, you know, since we do know, <laughs> I feel like it's pretty easy to root for him to have a second chance. And ultimately, I feel like it's sort of a perfect way to end a Yaptuber arc because one of the, the most difficult things on social media, I think, is authenticity, as well as valuing results and like metrics over what you're actually doing to get those things, if that makes sense. The juice often isn't worth the squeeze, in my opinion. And I suspect that's actually a bigger part of burnout, perhaps, than just the workload. I mean, in my experience, having a large workload can be difficult, but it really only gets to a, a bad level of difficulty, I'd say, when it lacks a personal connection, if that makes sense, or lacks a genuine desire and just becomes about like the output, within reason, of course. So this wasn't, this wasn't the route for Gentle. He wants to be a hero, and so I want to see him be given a second chance. But yeah, this all happened really fast. I was expecting this to be a couple more episodes, but here we go into the final two episodes of season four, not knowing at all what's to come. Mm -hmm.